Good day, everyone. Uh, today, let's uh, let's spend a little bit more time on the distributive property and uh, on applying the distributive property in uh, in what we do. So, for example, um, get me out of the way here. Uh, we we've done problems such as this uh, three times oh, x plus twelve. And we can expand by distributing the three to each of the items, which gives us three X's plus 36. We've done that kind of a problem. Well, there's an application to this concept and, and uh, it, it's looking at these as, as two numbers that we're multiplying together. Let's say we wanna talk about, let's say uh, our, our living room. Let's say you've got a living room. Let's say this is what it is. And then one side is maybe a eight, eight feet. That's not right. Let's say 18 feet. Let's say this one is, uh, is X, is, uh, we'll do the X in a second, is, uh, is 12 feet. I know, that's a small living room. Let's say we've got that living room. Small living room by, by some. Areas. Let's say that then we want to ex expand and somebody wants to, build on, build an addition onto the living room. And it's going to be a certain amount of distances, certain amount of feet. Okay, with this, what is the new area? What's the area going to be of the new expanded or extended living room? Well, it's length times width. Before it was 18 times 12, but now it's going to be uh, 18 times this whole thing right here, uh, x plus 12. So that's the new area. And then you can take the 18 and multiply it by the x and take the 18 and multiply it by the 12. So we're left with 18x plus whatever 12 times 18 is. And your calculator will give you the answer. 18 times 12, that's... 216. So that's one way to look at these two numbers multiplied together, finding the area. Finding the area is one thing that we multiply. We multiply a length times a width, and that's what it looks like. Another way you'll see uh, is, so let's say we're talking about uh, we're talking about money. And let's say that you're gonna you're gonna get for Christmas maybe uh, five sweaters. And let's say the sweaters cost a certain amount of money. Let's say they cost, that S looks too much like a five, doesn't it? Let's say you're going to do uh, five sweaters. They cost W amounts of money. How much are you going to spend? We've got tax to worry about. So you might see it written like this, five sweaters. And each of the sweaters costs W amount plus Oh, plus the tax on top of that. In Utah, the tax is about 6%. So 6% of W. And then if we're to expand that, we can multiply the 5 times the W. And then we can add to that 5 times 0 0.06. And uh, the calculator will give you 0.30 Ws. Then it's expanded. It's the same thing. You're just talking about the 5 sweaters cost and then the tax for all the sweaters on top of that. So these are two ways to apply this distributive property in a pictorial way or in a, in a way where you'd apply it in life. And you'll see some of these on today's assignment. Um, those of you that have an assignment associated with this, but just a, just a quick way to review and look and see what the distributive property looks like as a picture or as a, as a story problem. Thanks for watching.